Gabriel Costa and Giannis Ferreira. Black belt professional middleweight final. Costa is known for his distance passing and close guard bump sweep. This one goes down to the ground. Uranison very fast, very reactive, super fast with his feet, chasing the single leg here. Uranison taking the Jiu Jitsu world by storm with the last king of the mats, Grand Prix in March 2022. He competed in the uh, under 85 kilogram category where he defeats some of the prime black belts whilst completing as a brown belt performance that earned you Anderson the gold medal. Oh, beautiful counter there from you Anderson. He's got to watch the back take though. Both hooks in now for Costa. Costa himself, a first place AJP Grand Slam. 2021, third place in the AJP South American Continental Pro in 2021. Costa now receiving the four points for the back control. Looking to secure a potential submission here. You can see the grimace on the face from you, Anderson. Immense pressure being put through down into Costa. Through the hips there, translated straight through Anderson's hips. Yeah, Anderson's got to try and get those hips to the sky and get his back to the mat. They're going to reset in the same position. That'll give him some time to consolidate his thoughts with regards to the technique to escape. He's got to pick the ample op opportunity to get his back to the mat or try and spin in the guard of Costa. If Costa switches to the crossed feet, there's also a footlock available, but more importantly, it enables your opponent to turn more to face you in the escape. So if Costa makes that mistake to cross the feet, if you Anderson can read that, he might be able to turn in the guard and end up on top in the full guard of Costa. You can see here Costa crossing the feet there in the uh, back control. And he's using the left leg there to prevent the turn. Making it very difficult for you Anderson to square his hips to the sky. Giving them that hook there on the back of the knee prevents any circular motion. Johansson's got to try and kick that right leg over and, and get rid of that hook on the, the back of his knee here on the right leg. It's preventing him turning down and getting his hips to the sky and getting his back flat to the mat. Johansson's slowly edging his way now to the escape. The grip, nice grip for Costa. He's readjusting the grip now for the collar choke from the back. He's going to look to pull across with the top arm and pull down with the secondary arm, creating a noose here for you, Anderson. Two minutes left to work. He's going to use the grip now to walk up. He's going to go behind the head. What an impressive finish. A collar choke from the back here for Costa, finishing the very, very tough and storied grappler, you, Anderson Friera. In the final here, the middleweight to capture the gold. A very ecstatic man here in the jiu-jitsu arena. Gabriel Costa, but a very impressive choke from the back against a very tough fight in Juventus and Ferreira. That's a massive feather in the cap here for Costa. If you take a look at the replay, we see the very game and competitive Juventus and Ferreira. But Costa 
was not bothered by the bravado or the bright lights. He obtained the back here and immediately secured the position, walked the legs up for more leverage, and he went behind the arm, behind the head as well, to cut the blood supply off here to win via choke from the back. 